Hey there YouTubers, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS to ASRock Z690 Pro RS. And in this video, this is uh, one of two ways to update the BIOS. Um, previously, we did one. So if you had installed a 12th gen chip and you wanted to update it, having everything installed uh, showed you how to update using the BIOS. This one, we're going to use a dedicated BIOS button and dedicated USB um, for the BIOS update. All right, so first thing you want to do, folks, is search for this. That'll bring up this link. You'll click on that link and then click on support. Now you'll see here, uh, this is where we're going to go get the BIOS. But before we do that, let's take a look at this CPU support list. This shows you all the CPUs it's compatible with and at what BIOS it started being compatible. So all these were 1.31. The 12900KS was 5.04, and then your unlocked 13 gens are 11.02. Who knows what the locked ones will be, okay? All right. So remember these numbers. Now we'll come over here to BIOS, and these are your uh, downloads for the BIOS. So you want to start reading at the bottom. Remember 1.31? That covers all the 12th gen except 12900KS. So you read through these. And then you hit somewhere in here, this one, optimize i9-12900K. Uh, never shows 12K, 12900KS in here. Um, but it should have been this one, if I remember correctly. So then keep reading this, da da da, da. Now here is where the uh, 13th gens became compatible. And this is the most current. So if we download this one, these are all cumulative, so we're getting the best of all these, okay? So we're going to click on that, and that then downloaded our, our file there, okay? Now, before we go mess with this, if you click here, that brings up this flashback SOP, okay? So uh, reading through this, you'll see thumb drive must be formatted FAT32, okay? So here's our thumb drive. This is a USB 2.0. I'm not sure if any of my USB 3.0s are capable of being formatted to FAT32, okay? So uh, there's that. Now, if you have a thumb drive and you want to find out if it can be formatted, make sure there's nothing on it, and you will go in here, right-click, Format, and that'll bring up your options for formatting, okay? If FAT32 is one of them, then go ahead and... Uh, format your drive, but make sure you don't have, like, I have a ton of files in here I don't want to get rid of. If I format it, it's going to wipe everything off, okay? So, um, covered that part. Now, we've downloaded this file, all right? In a moment, we're going to extract it because it's a zip file. And then the file that's in there, we have to uh, rename. So I'm going to copy this, all right? You can control C or that, what I did. And then we're going to go to downloads, and there is our folder. We're going to extract all, our zip folder. And then there is the file. We want to rename this. And I don't want this at the beginning. Make sure it says creative ROM, okay? Creative period ROM. Click enter. Now I want to copy that and put it on the root drive of your thumb drive, okay? So if you put it in, if there's already folders in here, that is, and you put it inside these folders, that's not the root drive, okay? The root drive is when I click right on this and I can see it, okay? So right when I click on that drive, I should be able to see the file. So... That is uh, basically all we have to do. Now, next part of the video, I'm going to actually um, plug in all the equipment and show you on this um, on this drive where the uh, dedicated USB, or excuse me, where on this motherboard the dedicated USB is. And I'll show you where the uh, dedicated uh, BIOS button is for flashback, all right?
All right, folks, so in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, do this. Got my thumb drive, not going to plug that in yet. Um, you'll see over here we have our... Basically, this is going to be our flashback button. Now, what we need to do is determine which one of these is our BIOS. So let me go do that. All right, so... Having uh, thoroughly looked through the instructions, I almost said, oh, we're going to try all these, but this top one, top USB 2.0, is going to be the flashback BIOS button. All right, let us plug in our 24-pin power connector. This can go in only one way, and it's going to snap in. This is the only connector that we're going to put on this, all right? So all this other stuff here, we don't need. Now, I'm going to go over here, plug this in. So that's done. We have lights on here, so that means that uh, that switch is in the on position. All right. From here, folks, let's go ahead and put our thumb drive in. And when we hit this, we're going to hold it in for three seconds according to directions. So it had said if it is a solid green that uh, it didn't go so good for you, okay? But the fact it's blinking would appear that it's working. Now, interesting enough... This did not turn on the power supply, uh, so we have to sit here and watch this thing blink. So I'm going to let this record just so you guys can see how long it actually takes. And um, we'll come back in a moment. Actually, I hate to do that to you guys. Um, <laughs> Maybe we'll, uh, I'll pause it for now. The worst, what's going to happen is it's going to shut off. All right, folks, so I spared you from that. So you see the uh, light has stopped flashing. It took uh, probably about six and a half minutes, I'd say. And uh, we've got an updated BIOS. Hopefully everything will go as smoothly as it did for me, for you all. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe.